A new investigation into a school district that's been in the headlines for months. Videos have surfaced showing students allegedly being threatened and attacked by school officials and police. And now the state auditor general is getting involved. Julie Grant joins us live with more on that. New at five. Hi, Julie. David, good afternoon to you. The Auditor General wasn't scheduled to audit the district until late next year, but he said he has seen those violent videos for himself and gotten numerous requests from local officials and members of the community. So now he's directing his team to step in immediately. If those were my kids, I'd be outraged. Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale cut right to the chase. These videos are obviously not something that, thank God, is common in our public schools. The time is now for an independent accountability measure of the Woodland Hills School District. Every kid, regardless of economic background, has a constitutional right in Pennsylvania to get a quality education so that they can have a fair shot. Braddock Mayor John Fetterman said it's like there's a dark cloud over the district, largely because of the violent videos. Young people sitting in chairs, walking down the halls, getting uh, physically abused and tasered while the principal stands there like ho-hum. Like, I mean, it's not the Shawshank Redemption. This is high school. To be clear, the Auditor General's office does not have law enforcement powers, but they can and will make recommendations. If we find anything that we believe is criminal in nature, I will discuss that with the, dis the district attorney and the attorney general. And if I feel federal law has been violated, I will let the Western District U.S. Attorney know. Attorney Todd Hollis, who is representing four of the students in civil rights litigation, publicly thanked the Auditor General at the press conference. It's gratifying that somebody cares. You know, all of the individuals and the political leaders that have seen these videos that are aware of what's been going on, it's got nationwide interest, national attention. He's the only one that's here. The Auditor General said the work will begin on October 2nd with no designated completion date. He said that he's directing his team to do this audit as thoroughly and as quickly as possible. Then he'll make a public announcement about the findings. Reporting live in downtown Pittsburgh, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News. Thank you, Julie.